Hi, uh, my name is Richard Price and uh, I was one of the original founders of the Monmouth Festival. Uh, it started, if I remember rightly, 34 years ago and it all started uh, from a conversation in um, a house in St Mary Street in Monmouth and the convener of that meeting was a guy called Bob Linwood who is sadly no longer with us and um, we all went round to Bob's one evening for a chat and a few drinks and the conversation turned to Monmouth needs a festival so from there we expanded the idea and everybody threw in a few ideas and uh, their ten bobs worth and it became the first Monmouth festival now because it's so long ago I can't remember the details of it the long and the short of it is that because Monmouth is so steeped in musical history and I was at the time working for the local paper the Beacon and was tapped into the kind of local scene a little bit and played in bands that sort of thing um, we decided that what we needed to do was to try and make use of the fact that people were coming down to Rockfield on a regular basis and try and drag them into getting involved with it and eventually after lots and lots of letters going out and begging letters and um, proposals and grant application forms we managed to get a small grant from the South East Wales or South Wales or South East Wales can't remember South East Wales Arts Association and we put on a few acts over a weekend uh, and it was well received and the local businesses got behind it and then we did a big thing where we built a stage down by the rowing club in Monmouth and we had a few bands came along we had Stan Webb's Chicken Shack who people of a certain age would probably remember uh, the first year that was 82 or 3 can't remember showing my age and then um, after that uh, the second year we built the stage again down in the same place and thankfully Robert Plant God bless him uh, deigned to play he, we caught him in the pub one night said Robert we're putting this show on do you want to come down and play at it and he said yeah 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 I'll do that and then we had to kind of negotiate and buy him drinks and all this sort of thing uh, we had a line up anyway but it was a lot of kind of uh, toing and froing between his people and our people such as they were and then out of the blue he turned up and he played and he played a set for an hour and that kind of set the seal on Monmouth Festival and from there on it took off uh, and it is what, what you see today really which is a, an extraordinary event put on by the local people for the local people with the support of the local businesses and people and I could not be prouder uh, having been involved with it in the very very early days when I was very very small and naive and um, unknowing and I you know a big part of me just wishes I still lived in Monmouth sadly I don't but it's great to be here and it's great to see everybody having fun and it's great to see the whole community pulling together and, and funding and volunteering and being involved and making the thing the success that it is today. So you're enjoying the music from the other side tonight? I'm sorry. You're enjoying the music from the other side tonight. As yeah, well. I will be enjoying the music from the other side. Hopefully, I mean it's the first time I've been down and seen it for probably 20 years, and um, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I've got to say I've seen it on Facebook, on social media, and the crowds that that, that, that they're getting in are, are fantastic. And you know, the, the whole thing is just a testament to what a fantastic community Monmouth really is. You know, I love this town. I miss living here to be honest with you and it, it's just a joy to see the place coming together and everybody being involved and uh, you know when we did it we had probably maybe half a dozen people volunteering to help out with it nobody got paid nobody ever got paid but now there are literally hundreds of people and thousands of people watching it and to still be doing it 
off the back of donations from the public and local businesses is just phenomenal and the, the town should be so proud of that because I've been involved with events, uh, I mean I went on from, from Monmouth and I worked with some of the biggest names in the world, you know, I worked with uh, bands like Bon Jovi and um, Meatloaf and Brian Ferry and people like that and you know these are all professional outfits and when you see this you realise that actually this is not that far away from that, you know, people are giving their time and effort for nothing and it is as professional as all the biggest bands in the world or biggest festivals in the world and people are doing it for, for, for the love of it which is which is a, a, a as I say a testament to the community spirit in Monmouth and long may it rain. Thank you very much for talking to us. Absolutely really welcome. really appreciate you taking the time we hope you enjoy the rest of the music tonight. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for the finale as well. Thank you. Thank you.